What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Thor. His name is Brickhead. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Set. He is currently rank number two on the Vubli ladder. And uh, he is known for his shenanigans, I'm sure we're going to see in this game. His name is Joe. The map is Marsh. And this is the best of threes. We're in the group stages. We're more than halfway through. It's so much hype. So much excitement. I'm excited. You're excited. Well, I don't know if you're excited. But you should be excited. Because halfway through the tournament means that in only like three more weeks or something crazy like that we're gonna have the playoffs and that's where things start to get very interesting where we start to have people getting kicked out of champions for next season people beating up on the uh on each other in the top end of the champions bracket we're gonna have a challenges champion top seeding of each of the groups will duke it out and uh, take each other on and uh, and try and see who's the uh, the strongest challenger of season one they get a little bit of a prize uh, before uh, coming straight into the Champions League actually so a little bit of a added bonus there you don't even have to beat a champion you get in what a crazy time to be alive brickhead here though he's been having some troubles this tournament uh not quite where you going what's this okay i like it very smart anyways we're having some troubles winning some games in this uh champions league definitely a strong player and he's been He's been, in the games that I've seen of him playing, he's been like this close to winning, like literally every single game with just like that slight better decision making. It's always the way with, uh, with Norse. We do see the dwarf coming up and uh, not actually getting to do anything. But the priest has been pushed back here. So not getting any anything here. Not getting anything. We do have the house already up, so... Uh, Brickhead going to be fine. Joe going to have to sit in his base with this priest for just a little bit longer. The ball's waddling around looking for something. We do see a very forward temple here from Brickhead. Right next to this um, this relic here, which is the Toothed Arrows, giving an extra 5% Arch for Ballast and Car Ballast to Pierce damage. I think it also gives... I, I want to say it gives damage to Trolls, but I could be thinking about a different relic. Uh, just because Norse doesn't have any archers, so it's kind of like, uh, what, what does it do? Got some more relics. Boots will kick everything. We may see Brickhead going for Seti here. Boots will kick, kick everything. Hall of Thanes, her, sir, are actually quite good in this game. We've also got the Tusk of the Iron Boar here. So there's so many good relics in this map. Uh, there's another one somewhere over here. Let's check that one out. We've also got the Eye of Horus. Dude, if you, like, if you like relics, this is the map for you right here. This is the map right here. And we do see the ball coming around the back of uh, Brickhead's base here, looking for something to do. We have Freya coming through. We've also got Tar coming through very, very fast. We have 20% Tar to 10% Freya. So just a couple of seconds faster. And we've got the, the Hursa already coming out of this uh, out of this temple. And he actually grabs that relic straight away. He's going to be going after the boots kick everything. Brickhead being very slow with this one. And it's going to be awfully close. But it looks like Snowfru is going to be getting his hands on boots to kick everything here. Uh, which is going to be great for him. Not so great for Brickhead. As Bjarni Slushthigh is going to be hurting just a little bit. There is the vision on the base of Brickhead. He's very far away from everything, but he has a lot of villages close by. Uh, and you can do some pretty sneaky shenanigans here. He's sending the Hursa back here. So if any sort of shifting sand comes through onto this location, the Hursa can jump straight onto the Wadget. The villagers can then snipe all of the rest of these units here. The vision is over though, so no shifting sands will occur. And we do see a longhouse going up in the middle of the map. And Joe is not happy about this one little bit. And he's moving in and he's like, nah, not going to let you put that, that longhouse up there. It's not going to happen. 
Not happening. Nope, nope, get out of here. Not only that, he could also shifting sense every one of these infantry units into his base. He doesn't have a box set up, but he may be able to pick them off. We do see a barracks up for Joe already, so he's not even grabbing this immediate second town center. Gonna be putting the pressure on. We do see the uh, the Hursa trying to pick off that Wadget. Does Shifting Sands it back in here? The unit's gonna to attempt to finish off the Wadget before leaving. Potentially gonna, well, he's gonna lose at least one. He gets the last hit, does not get the last hit in the Wadget there. That's kind of big, because that Wadget can now come back up to full HP. And we do see a little bit of Miss Micro here from uh, from Brickhead, not able to actually kill this one off. And all of those Hursa do seem to fall now. The Priest and the Pharaoh have shut this Longhouse down, but we see Brickhead throwing up another Another one over in this corner and Valkyries do come onto this town center to rent it to rent it. So nice play there from Brickhead in order to stop that one. The priest and the, the Pharaoh plus an axe for now searching for more longhouses. They are very much out of the line of sight of this longhouse. So nice uh, placement there. The villagers is going to be under attack fairly soon. The Pharaoh does not have any sort of bonus damage or has he's actually cut, cut the damage. So only doing uh, eight damage in attack. When you see the uh, Hursa coming in at Forest Fire on this. <laughs> oh, it's such a funny god power, is it not? It is such a funny god power. Now the Wadget comes in, going to be hitting some stuff. The Hursa comes in on the back, though, gets one free hit. Raiding Cavalry here to try and snipe down the Pharaoh. We do see the Hursa going to be retreating away from this. The Raiding Cavalry does get picked off, and Brickhead is pushed even further back, trying to get back up this further long hours here as the uh, Pharaoh and everything else does spot it. But for some reason, uh, Joe's saying, that's fine, I'm gonna let you do that one. We do see the priest over here defending this town center as the Valkyrie coming back in. Uh, potentially could come in, snipe the Pharaoh. Uh, two hit that one, I think, with 12 damage. Yep, should be able to two hit the Pharaoh, but not gonna be going for it as the Pharaoh and the rest of the army gets away. And now Brickhead trying to produce some raiding cavalry has been sufficiently slowed down here. But Joe's also been slowed down. This is a seven minute second town center for Joe. So he's used to getting this town center up close to like five minutes or five minutes 30. Uh, so seven minutes is very, very late. And uh, we'll see what he can do with it. If it is actually gonna be a problem, he's going for an immediate third town center here. Uh, I do like this. This is very greedy, but because he's slowed Brickhead down so much, he's going to be able to do some stuff. We do see that Brickhead's already on the way over there, but because of this Pharaoh in power time, this town center goes up so very, very fast. So very, very fast. And the town center's up. Going to be looking for someone to do. He's got some water buffalo over here, plus the boar over here. But with these three town centers, that does mean this is the complete army that Joe's going to be able to have for the time being. So Brickhead can put a lot of pressure on. Uh, and he's got all of the, the hunt to, to get. So totally fine there. We just see the Raiding Cavalry trying to poke in there and, and, and pick some stuff off. Joe, we're getting his boar now. And Brickhead being like very, very willy nilly with these houses everywhere. Uh, starting to produce some more units, but the houses in these spots can spell a disaster later in the game because if you lose a fight uh, or can't defend it, they just they, they die and then your units die and you can't reproduce because your supply block because you lose all your houses. So it's uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. You got to be careful about it. And uh, Brickhead throwing up his dwarven armory now, so he may be thinking about going for a semi-fast heroic here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be... I mean, it's not like this bad idea. If he gets out a bunch of fire giant... or not fire giant, frost giant, he could push through this, even as a possibility just going through Bragi as well. He is Thor, not Odin, so he can go through that Bragi and uh, and try and get some, uh, get some advantage there with a flaming weapons timing attack on this town center, take this down, and then go for a gold staff. The gold is all exposed here for Joe. One over here, one over here. So if he picks off this town center, this gold mine's open. Over here is not going to be able to be saved at all. And then you follow that up with Battle Ball. This could be a, a good idea from Brickhead. We'll see if he can make it happen or not. Has been able to trap this Wadget here. We'll be able to pick that one off before retreating away. The Priest and the Pharaoh do not manage to snipe the Valkyrie as Brickhead gets away here. He's sitting almost uh, with enough resources to advance to the next age. And we'll see where he goes. He's got some Axemen out, Hurso out as well, sitting at 88 population here and just about to advance. And he is going through Bragi. So hopefully in this Dwarven Armour, he gets up like 
copper copper shields and potentially a bronze mail as well if he can afford it definitely he needs to think about getting medium raiders if he gets medium raiders out then this army becomes a little bit less scary and this flaming weapons timing push needs to hit this and hit it hard and then follow up with battle war because joe's not going to be able to defend against that one and we do see him spam village ever he is going through nephthys there are four hersa here as well though and we throw up a second temple because he wants to spam out those battle war how is his favor looking he's on 45 favor so it's a one battle boy is coming around the back with this uh with these units here we see bragi medium cavalry medium infantry coming in wooden wall is about to fall this gold mine in the back's got 500 gold left in it so the wooden wall does tie and for some reason joe converts a gate just as this is coming in we do see the valkyrie almost getting sniped there as it's retreating away the units for brickhead coming in this side but he needs to somehow get a surround on this we do see uh some battle ball getting produced not just yet He's uh, moving his dwarfs over here, a little bit uh, a little bit unfortunate. They're going to be sniping a barracks. This is pretty big because the barracks take very long time to build. You kill off one, that's only one left. We do see an immediate Migdal Stronghold coming in. And with Joe coming in over here to defend against the Raiders, the units moving in, they're going to be able to start targeting down these spearmen, taking them out. The battle ball is tanking this. There's the flaming weapons. The Ancestors comes down. You need to pull your Hursa over here immediately because the Throne and Axemen are going to be targeting these ones down. The Migdal Stronghold is up right now and the Scorpion Men, the Giraffe Set, the Crocodiles coming. We see some Mercenary getting pumped out of the town center. Villagers over here trying to get sniped. We check out the population situation. It's 85 for Brickhead to 109 for Joe, as all of these brickhead units are just meeting their demise to this uh, to this incredible Joe defense here, as the flaming weapons does not get the value that he wanted. He did not have enough battle bore out at all to take down this town center. The ancestors there was not dealt with easily at all, and the army just melted. Uh, brickhead had no armory upgrades, so the town center plus the Migdal stronghold just did so much damage. Plus everything else as well. And Brickhead has to retreat now. Hillfort going up. It's currently three town centers to one town center. Brickhead down all these god powers. Same with Joe. But Joe is in a commanding position right now. He's going to be looking to finish off Brickhead as best as he can. If you come around the back. Kill off these dwarves here that are for some reason traveling the the Sahara Desert. It's not the, I mean the grasslands of marsh here to drop their gold off. But... Righto, uh, it's obviously a lot to be doing. I think he did cue it to move over, but must have misclicked. And now the chariot arch is just going to be pushing in. And Brickhead taps out. GG, well played by Joe with a nice defense. Nice try from Brickhead there. He got set way too far behind, though, in re all reality, to go for a timing attack. If you get set behind that far, it's kind of better to just go for the two town center semi fast rock through Scardi. And, um, and see if you can just hit the Ragnarok timing, um, unfortunately. But I like the uh, attempt here from Brickhead going for the flaming weapons. If he had 115 population, maybe it would have been a bit different, but he just didn't. Uh, if he was Loki, it probably could have been a bit better, but it wasn't. Uh, and uh, I mean, if you had some armory upgrades, you probably could have stayed alive a bit longer, dealt more damage with the flaming weapons, but obviously did not have those either. And that's game number one going to Joe. We'll move on to game number two very shortly. If you are enjoying these games, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch to catch me whenever I go live. And if you're on the YouTubes, hit the subscribe button to see when videos go up. And I will see you in the next game.